Hello and welcome back to Jules T channel. Today we're going to talk about a topic that affects all of us at some point in our lives, dealing with insults. Whether it's at work, a social setting, at home, insults can be damaging and hurtful. But what if I tell you there's a way to handle insults without being rude? That's right, it's possible to maintain your professionalism and respect in the face of insults. So let's get started. So tip number one is to stay calm and composed. It's natural for anyone to feel upset or angry. After all, we're all humans. But it's important not to react emotionally. So the way you respond determines the frame of the conversation. There's one very common scenario that happens to us Chinese during the Chinese New Year. The kids and the singles will cringe whenever they hear these questions from the elders. If you're a kid, the common question would be, how was your exams? Did you do well? Did you, did you get good results? How many A's did you get? When you just started working, still single? No boyfriend? No girlfriend? I have a friend that I can introduce to you. Or, why are you so skinny? Oh, what happened to you? Since when do you become so fat? Basically, your family and friends, they mean well. These are basically just conversation starters. But if you find yourself at the receiving end, it sometimes doesn't feel great hearing it. So if someone says you're fat, there's that urge to say, Hey! Shut up! You're not that skinny either. These comments will actually scare people off and, and make people think that, hey, you get offended easily. So this is where tip number two comes in. Use humor to overcome such insults. You agree and you amplify it. So if someone says you're fat, make a light-hearted joke about it. So you know, scientifically, things expand in the heat. I'm technically not fat, just hot. By not getting caught up in the insult, you can diffuse the situation and move on. We're sending a message that we're just friends who love to joke around and silly things like that don't bother me. Or if you really don't know what to say, just laugh and say thank you. Ha <laughs> Thank you! But what if the situation gets too heated and you can't use humour? Tip number three is knowing what to say and when to say it. So if you receive a nasty mail, what you can do is you can respond in a very long lengthy mail but don't press send. Keep it in draft format and sleep over it and the next day, reopen that draft and reread what you have written. You'll find that at that moment of time, you'll feel less emotional and you'll be able to respond with a clear head. If you find yourself in a position to respond, you have your manager's backing, what you're doing is within the company's policies, you won't risk losing a sale. How you can respond is that comment isn't useful to either of us. I felt dismissed by your comments. While that may not be your intention, that is how it landed on me. And if that comment was ambiguous, and you're not sure what she actually meant by that instead of saying why did you say that because why did you say that that sentence itself sounds like you're accusing somebody you can rephrase it with what did you mean by that what was your intention when you said that when you ask the offender to repeat what they just said it may prompt the offender to rethink about what they just said and how their words may offend others and lastly, if you have assessed the situation and you think that you're not in a position of influence that it may risk losing a sale or you do not have your manager's backing, then you can just walk away. You can say, well, I think this conversation is getting too emotional. Why don't we just all just stop here and then take time to rethink and we come back and regroup again next week. This will give everyone time to cool down and they will be speaking when they are less emotional. So just a recap of what you learned. Tip number one is to stay calm and composed. Tip number two is to use humour to agree and amplify. And tip number three is to respond when you are not emotional. And lastly, tip number four, if all does not work, walk away. So when you maintain yourself with grace and composure, you're setting a positive example for others and you get to maintain your dignity and respect. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with our latest content. Bye!